and we're back. So, I think a good strategy, what I found out probably would be to, as far as this can here is concerned, hit him, go back before he has time to react, like so. Alright. Oh, the cheeky bastard. He can actually shoot through. Alright. Yeah, see, look. That's how you don't do it, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, I took a bunch of unnecessary damage there. If fuck. Yeah, I'm probably need to heal on that, so that's what I'll do. Use up half of that. Get myself a prayer back, and that. There we go. Oh, that's a range one, isn't it? Alright. So, probably chances are I won't be able to make it much further than this. Unfortunately. This fucking farce, isn't it? Alright, so what, what I can do, yeah, go over there and start attacking. Yeah, I notice that these barrages are barely doing any fucking damage. Alright, uh, what we'll do here. Okay, there we go. Oh boy. What a fucking farce, isn't it? Attack! Oh, you fucking spastic. Also, she's really protect. Because I've got more uh, range defense than I do melee. Not melee. Though, well, I suppose melee would also be pretty good, but yeah. Okay, so let's try again with this. Except, let's hopefully you're not. Not fuck it up. Alright. Uh -uh. Okay, that's what I want to see. And again. Alright, so yeah, it can hit, it's just you probably need to put Pi on because it is quite strong. And I'd probably do semi decent melee, melee defense and that, uh, but. Okay, uh, I probably will be a cheapskate use this yet again for another opportunity because I really want to get wave 25. And yeah, let me think. That was, yeah, so next. Oh, two slimes, fuck off. Nah. I might be in a bit of trouble because of that. Fuck. Well, if I get for at least, I could say, I've reached the expected goal of 25, though I was really hoping to get to there beyond, but for a second goal, it's not bad. It's not bad. Yeah, I know, but. Okay, I was planning to save this news once I was done with the Inferno, but suffice to say, this is a bit of. Uh, big news and I say this because anybody who knows the dreaded terms MTX or as it's longer counterpart is known microtransactions yes the RuneScape community has had a, a somewhat shall we say fragile and uh, very much violent relationship with microtransactions yes especially volatile in the sense that the obviously going from RuneScape Classic to RuneScape Two is no biggie. It's just two and a half to full three D, you know, engine upgrade and all. It's, yeah, that was fairly welcome. Though there were some people who still didn't like that right enough, but other than that, microtransactions just wasn't really a thing at that point. Now, you know, it's funny you mention. I feel like one of the biggest mistakes that's happened all RuneScape 
was actually to do with the Gower brothers themselves, Andrew and Paul. Yes, when they were that fateful day when IVP offered them a very huge sum of cash, I can't remember the exact amount, it's somewhere at least the high eight figures, if not over a hundred million pounds in that, and they accepted it. You know, they sold their shares to IVP, they becoming the majority, and then they bought the rest, and essentially they had full control of the Jags in a couple of years. And it is to my belief that had they not sold that, microtransactions would not be a thing. You know, I remember Andrew had said specifically he thought that by selling shares he could still have a voice in there, you know, as an advisor kind of thing, but I believe that was just, he was just mis misled and that, you know, he didn't want responsibility, but he still wanted that impact, and nah, that's not how business works, you know. So, evidently, what happened over, like, the next two years, uh, RuneScape slowly became more divisive, it's not three years, starting from 2010, you know, RuneScape 2 slowly become more defiled with things like the, it started off relatively harmless, like, with cosmetics game from, I think, the partnership sort of program, I, I, I don't know what it was called, and uh, you know, then later on, like, obviously started building up to a bit more of this, a bit more of that, you know, like, small experience, I think the first big worrying one was, uh, the pre-Treasure Hunter, one was it, oh, uh, no, it's not Solomon's Gem, so it's, yeah, Squeal of Fortune, featuring that obnoxious goblin, everybody's guts hated back then, yeah, uh, yeah, he was the one who really, like, kickstarted the whole thing. Especially when you were to buy spins, you know? It's one thing if you just get it, it's like, oh, it's just a better for me to encourage people to come in and that. No, 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 no. When they allowed you to buy that, the direct call is just me. Like, you can buy more spins. More spins, more valuables. And I think this is the thing, and that it was that gambling kind of thing. It's like, oh, you might get lucky. You know, I remember I heard a thing where, uh, for free to players and that, the fucking Squeal Fortune was rigged to us be in their favour. Not against, but here's the catch. So things like, uh, are, like uh, different versions of rare items like Sarah God Swords, you know, Spirit Shields and all that, they were untradeable so you couldn't sell them or anything, but they rigged the chances so that pretty much you would end up, you know, getting a lot more if you're free to play and if you hadn't been a member before. Because people who were members and went back free to play, they, that never happened to them. It was just people who had never been a member at all before. And I find that an interesting thing. I mean, the reports there were certainly, some of them were certainly convincing. Others were just like, uh, kind of spoke a tone of hearsay, like he said, she said kind of thing, you know. But I wouldn't put beyond IVP to try such a tactic, you know, truth be told. Oh, my. Also, you know, for, I've just realised not even had the clan shot on. Nice, nice, nice. Oh man. But yeah. Essentially, the problem was that this kept building up and up and up. And also, I'd say it could be to, to a point that the whole building up microtransactions was almost, if not just as bad as Evolution Comics. Mind you, I was in the mindset of, okay, you know, microtransactions is bad, but I can look past that, you know, it's like, it's all my experience, you know, I've never really been like, oh, this person's bought this or bought that, you know, like, it's all about what I achieved, nothing else, and, uh, and you know, that was all fine down until near the end, like, November 2012, when the infamous EOC update came, and that just fucked up experience, like, you know, the, the chill AFK combat runescape, gone, you know, or very inefficient from there on, it was just, no. Nah. That world was lost for a time, and eventually they, just three months later down the road, they brought back old school RuneScape because they knew that was what really fucked everything up, and yeah, but, ah, you know, I'm not even done, I've not even got to the proper bit that's got me concerned, but alas, that one shall have to wait because any longer and people will get pissed off, I'm not even doing anything. Yeah, so, alright, let's see, why don't we kill this cunt off here and let's actually get to... Yes, get to actually seeing if we can actually make some good uh, progress. Or at least try to, anyway. Yeah, no. Alright. Da 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 da. Da da da. Okay.
Uh oh. Uh, yeah, I've got, I've got to pay attention to that. Fuck off. Okay, there we go. Uh, there we go. Yeah, I've got to be, like be really fucking safe with this. Yeah, maybe I've got to kind of delay it a bit. Like, bloody hell. Alright. Oh, I should use a spec, fuck. Ah, oh, can't. Alright, time to repeat the strategy. This is some cheap bullshit I'm pulling off here, but I mean, it's pretty much necessary if I want to get any kind of distance. Even then, I'm not really doing the best job. So let's see. So I see change back to a blood barrage. Alright, there we are. Oh right. You know it's kinda of shocking not seeing like the hits going. Got to see it land first. Also, not hitting. All right, good. Uh, yeah, you know what? Go for it. Oh yeah. What's oh shit? Hum de hum. Oh shit, maybe I shouldn't do that. Yeah, maybe I'll knock out this cunt first. Yeah, I think they've already destroyed that pillar. Oh de hell. Oh shit, cunt's getting behind me. Yeah, that pillar is now gone. Uh, nice, nice, nice. Oh, so have I. Alright, now. Okay, so. I know I won't be able to get this guy off me for a long, so I'm going to have to probably. You know what? I, I've, not, I've got so much prayer, I can just pretty much waste it. Just let this guy have at me for a bit. I mean, that's me pretty much achieved. Yeah, the goal I wanted. And that, but holy shit. Okay, so why was I let this uh, Jal Imkot tackle me slowly and that? Yes. Oh. I didn't even bother with that. But yes. So, as far as why this is a big deal, obviously with that previous aforementioned US Platinum Fortune firm, yes. It was very interesting timing that pretty much the problem that most people have as far as, you know, this most intriguing wording of uh, what seems to be a partnership. Now, yes, if you recall back last year, they did something similar like with Twitch. And uh, yes, remember the purple skin? 
yeah, that funky one, yeah, that was just for the one month after that, people got, you if you remember what I said about that, like, when I covered it, and I don't know when that would have been this June, so probably, like, not too far ago, yeah, there was a thing called, and this seems to be, some people call it the slippery slope kind of theory, other people call it the slippery slope fallacy, depending on, you know, what side you're on, and that, you know, it's the belief that once you start something and there's a incentive to keep pushing it, no matter how little it is, it's just like, oh, this is working, why not do a little more? And that. When you know, like, when you look at the far end and you see there's a lot to be gained, and that, it doesn't matter if there's barely resistance or there's a lot of people, like, up against it, as long as there's more to gain than there's to lose, it's about easing, just slowly working up towards, rather than shoot right up and that, you know, think of the boiling frog analogy, you know, like, if you set the temperature from 0 to 100, it's just going to fucking jump right out there and then. However, however, if you slowly it out from 0 to 10, one month, 10 to 15, if it's particularly rough, you know, next month, or otherwise go 20, or if it's really fucking bad, it seems to be the case with this response, yeah, just basically leave it for a little while. Like, don't really dial back. This is the thing. People don't want to make the first step because at that point, the battle's already lost. You know? And generally speaking, what seems to be the case that, uh, yeah, people would term that as microtransactions, even the form of cosmetics, because essentially they offered some very interesting ones. Like, they had a different set of colour skins, I think, uh, green, blue, and a weird yellow was amongst them. But there's some, and this... I will be honest, I was a bit annoyed at myself. There was like two new construction themes. Yes, construction themes. You know, remember that one with the Halloween one? Yeah, well, here's two real fancy ones. Uh, Mortania based one and uh, Prithnidas ones. And you know, the thing that really fucking gets on my nerves is... Uh, yeah, uh, do you remember? Yeah, there's a certain guy going on who I still haven't checked out. Uh, I forget his name at the top of my head. It's uh, Swampletics, yeah. I've still not checked the bastard out, like, I'm pretty much, eh, I'm just not really interested, and, what can I say, you know, but, yeah, the fact that put it at the very fucking top, it raises an eyebrow, it's like, yeah, you put the most appealing one right at the top, and that, uh, it's, there's a form of manipulation, especially the fact they didn't even mention, like, they just say, oh, we just pull out there, you know, say, oh, would you like this? No, we're not mentioning the strings attached to it. No, 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 no. It's like, no, nah, no pull, partnership, you know, none like that, you know. It's the fact you're getting content away, regardless of it's cosmetic or practical, the, uh, you know, and this is the thing, no matter how small a fee it is, you know, it's still a microtransaction. Yeah, micro, certainly very micro even, but it's still a microtransaction. You know, me buying, like, all these new gear, like, just this year, face guard, that, you know, everything. Those are not microtransactions, you know, like, the, it is a transaction in the sense of, oh, you gain GDP, but there's no real money involved. Unless you want to get the technicality of, a, you know, a bonds. And that's another thing as well, it's just, oh, boy. Yeah, the fun land of bonds, oh, boy. You know, as I say, it's the one unilateral bond where it pretty much helps out other people. It's not like all benefits to one person, you know. And there's no... Some people say it's a gold sink slash gold, you know, adding, but it's not really. It's just you have an item that then suddenly people can trade. It's like suddenly gaining a valuable item that you can't out and that. So it's not like, oh, you can out it like Grand Chamber for 150k or Malaysian for maybe half a mil. You know, it's just you can trade it and it can vary depending on the demand that is not to do so much the names and like practical uses inside the game so much as its benefits as a membership how much people value that and how many bonds are currently in the game you know supply and demand and all but yeah basically the i actually voted in this polls and that and uh, every single one of them for the first time ever i voted no you know and apparently a vast majority of people did and uh, you know like i think if almost every single one in bar two were like at least 70% no. You know, it's almost a overwhelming majority no. You know, but of course, yeah, there's a sizable number of people who, you know, at least around 30% that voted yes. So it raises an eyebrow to those kind of people like, you know, Jax knows there's a sort of mindset there, but 
how to get them. Well, I guess we'll see what next time, especially with that, yeah, that particularly, well, there's a response to it, yeah. Basically, a couple, they actually closed the polls just three days after, I think. They started on the Wednesday, I think closed on late Friday or early Saturday, I'm not sure which one. And basically, yeah, he was not fuck up. It was like that passive aggressiveness, you see, and it's just, yeah. It makes you wonder, though, what else do they have up their sleeves and that, you know, it's... I mean, they're a business at the end of the day, but that's practically why the customers have to be on guard about this kind of stuff and that. It's unfortunate that it's maybe not giants themselves, but this new US plan fortune that's calling the shots. So, just got to see it. Eh? But, anywho, enough talking about that. Yes, I have a... Yeah, I have this to finish off. And... You know, actually, fuck it, I'm going to have to probably do another video. Also, that's not the right way to do it, you tit. Alright, there we go. Alright, so, see you in just a bit, and yeah, hope we get it sorted out.